Hi, I'm Vera. And I'm Christian. And it's Land Rover time. And today we want to show you how to replace the front wheel bearing on the Discovery 3. You will be amazed how easy it is to change out that wheel bearing. You can get that done with regular simple tools and you can get it done in your kitchen or in your driveway or in the middle of the desert. This. A new wheel bearing. And I bought, I bought a cheap one this time. Because last time I bought the most expensive one there is from SKF and it failed. It failed after like 40,000 kilometers. So I can run a cheap one if the expensive one fails. So this is the front wheel bearing because um, some people notice that there is a lot of noise in our interior noise in the car in our videos and that's the wheel bearing. It's just very whiny. So we're gonna have to do that and that's probably what we're gonna do today because I'm not ready for the for the brake line in the back. Oh, this one actually just has a play. Mm -hmm. Listen how this one sounds, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the other side. Okay. Doesn't have play. Yeah. yeah. And now listen how this one sounds. Nothing. Yeah. So I would say it's the one over there. Yes, but how could we be so wrong? Well, because I was thinking when I'm steering. So I would think it's steering to the left we could load on this bearing and that's why it's this bearing. <laughs> this is not a fake video, this is all true. So this is the bearing we're gonna replace. So I'm glad we checked that <laughs> before we Yeah, typically it. we don't check stuff, we just change it, right? <laughs> the first thing we always do is put it in excess mode disable the air suspension and then raise it up. I got the big ones for his last birthday. Okay. And it's nice and wet today. <laughs> so it's always important when you work on your car, you pick a nice and wet day. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's a British car. It's British weather. Are you... Uh, Yes, I'm not Are paying attention. Focus? Are you losing focus on our topic? <laughs> huh? Do it, I put some load on him now. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Yeah, and we take the wheel off. And then we look all surprised because we have no clue how to change wheel bearing. I'm thinking about, I'm actually thinking about reading the instructions manual now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of worried we're not going to get this nut open. Piece of cake. Okay, road wheel nuts, chisel or punch, unstake. Of course, we haven't done that. We haven't chisel, punch, unstake the nut. We just ran it out. Okay, so we screwed yeah. up on the first item. Yes. Remove brake disc as described, undo bolt securing brake hose and so on, um, retaining bolt ABS sensor, suitable tool, press the end of the drive shaft inwards, inwards with a suitable tool. I think they mean a big hammer. There's a bunch of Land Rover numbers for the suitable tool. And they, oh, Which says, we don't have. It says under note, yeah. use of a hammer to force the shaft from the hub will almost certainly result in damage. Now it comes, undo the four retaining bolts and withdraw the hub and bearing assembly from the hub carrier. See illustration. Position the new hub bearing and tighten the remaining bolt specified torque. Apply a little anti-seize grease, oh that's the proper word for our copper goo, to the splines and refit the end of the drive shaft and whatever into hub assembly. Remaining refitting is reversal and so on. Drive shaft retaining nut, that's it. 230 Newton meters. That's oh, that's quite a lot. That's your job to remember yeah. this. No, I don't remember that. I know where to look it up. Okay, I remember the two and you the 30. The reason I'm wearing these attractive boots is because I was washing the car before we started this work with the power washer. I also thought they kind of match a little bit the heritage of this vehicle. 
you know. Oh, then you're gonna get some really nice oh, I rubber boots for Christmas. <laughs> yes, and we have to do that outside in the rain. It's not because raining. It's, 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 it's blocking the garage for the next no, five no, months. No, no, it's too cold in the <laughs> garage, you know. Okay, so, so we take the brake caliber off. Now before you take this off, there is always this sensor here and if you just rip it out now, it will break that sensor. This one get hung up by a wire. I think you need new brake pads. I don't have any brake pads on stock. Yeah, you better order some. They are still beautiful. <laughs> We don't have a new one. Well, we, we put on anti-seize last time instead of always seize. <laughs> so we take the ABS sensor out. Uh, should I get WD-40? No. I can break it off. No, don't do that. Yes, it's a very bad idea on the brake. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. What? It helped? There it is. Of course it helped. That's, that's the idea. ABS sensor. So before this looks all stupid, you see, I put this I to this side. Uh, I wouldn't do that. It's oily in there. It's not oily. Yes, it is. It, I put it to this side, and this one I put to this side. It's like the dumbest way to sort the wrenches. I need to do that. Okay, so we gotta take this. <coughs> one and this is the other one so this is all easy stuff done it a million times so I'll take this bracket off so this is easy this way Chances are better, so, so it won't screw it up. Well, that's a suitable tool. Yes. See, because normally that's a uh, mm, Torx, and I don't have any Torx, so I put another one in. Okay. Uh -oh. This is the drive shaft, and it's already loose. How is that? And all we gotta do now is take off these four bolts, and then we got it out. I think that's so easy. It's a 15 millimeter. Ow! Ah! Mm. Any other bolt? It's a good idea to lubricate the other end of the bolt. <gasps> oh, the brake's already off. <laughs> nice if I. Do you want me to hold it back? No, no. Usually I do stuff and not film, you know. It's not a big deal. Easy job. I could do that in the middle of the desert <laughs> if we would have a desert. But we are gonna take a wheel bearing the next time with us on vacation, that's for sure. Yeah, and then we'll change it just for fun. Yes, we can do that. Are you filming this? Because that's a really important step. See, I'm using the ratchet and I go like this and I go back and I do this really fast. I like these wrenches the best. Yeah, what do you call them? Um, you call them, uh, I like these wrenches the best. You know, they have the ratchet, ratchet wrenches. Ratchet and I don't ratchet. like the ones which have this little switch knob on here. I want the straight ones. Yeah. Th that's, that's, you know, you put them on like this or like this. Yeah. I bought them at Kmart. Kmart? I bought them at Kmart. Oh, like 20 years ago? Or no, like no, during a business trip. Okay, almost done. Yeah, you said that before. Yeah. Da da. Okay, and listen to it. Listen. That's clearly the noise. Why we had bad interior noise. Can we and this was an SKF, I'm pretty sure. It was an SKF and it didn't last. I gotta do the word to the Sunday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Germans know what that is. Yeah. The word to the Sunday is. I put in a cheap wheel bearing because the last time it was an expensive one and it didn't last. And by putting in a cheap wheel bearing, 
it is safe that it fails again and we can fix it again and get more content for our YouTube channel. So it said it in the manual. Well, make the noise. I, don't, I mean, before you put ah. any goo. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. You get it <laughs> now? I get it Okay, now. we got to put some of this um, yeah. anti-seize on the spline. Yes. Yeah. I mean, what's the fun in putting an expensive one in? But how long is something like that supposed to last? Um, a lifetime? lifetime. Lifetime. In the abuse we do, a lifetime. I mean, if you go in the desert and somewhere, different story. But what we do with it, man, it's only rolling at 60 kilometers an hour. Yeah. So yeah, yes, it should course. it should last forever. Yeah. Ah, look how what, beautiful. Uh, but what about dirt getting into it? Right? The, <gasps> it's it's a sealed bearing. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So there's nothing getting you into it. Chef, Look how nice that looks now. I, I, s I only see elbow, you know, and the oh. viewers also. <laughs> okay. Look how, how nicely I aligned this here. Do you see this? Oh. I aligned this that? beautifully. And I put this bolt already in. Wheel bearing. I think I have the wrong wheel bearing. Shit. Oh no. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm just stupid. You're just stupid. Yeah, you're definitely stupid. But but I had it on. But you had it on wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so it must go on like this. Oh yeah, that looks better. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay, I got scared for a moment. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's twelve o'clock. Yeah. yeah, we gotta go. Eat I'm lunch. gonna go, and you can. I tighten those bolts alone. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Does it, I do that off camera? You guys can trust me. I'll yes. Don't screw you have the lunch? One hundred fifteen. Got it adjusted. One hundred and fifteen. Are you sure about that number? Uh no. Okay. And don't forget about the anti C squeeze. On what? On every nut no, that no, is not supposed on to. Not on this one. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, into 115 on this side. <laughs> And we use an IC squeeze? We use on something like this. Yeah, we call we say it's copper. We copper always paste. use copper paste. Yeah. What? <laughs> Why did I That's a That's thirty five new numbers? First. Yeah. And these are um I think 275. 275? Yes, they caliper bracket mounting bolts. It says 275. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And 275, that's that's a number, yeah. Yeah, it's a highest number. I don't think we go higher than that. 275. 250. <laughs> Easy. Now the ABS sensor and this thing got to go back on. Yeah. So it's a little stupid with my cables here. ABS sensor. It's very simple. Now, I don't know why people say a discovery is complicated. I think it's one of the easiest vehicles, vehicles to work on, really. It's just a little different. They can see yeah. the wear mark from the piston. This is probably why it gets stuck.
Now it's slipping, it don't work. <laughs> I'm not on the brakes. <laughs> Good. What's important here is to use a chisel, which is kind of round in the front. Oh, um, Otherwise, okay. you just split it apart and then you don't have really any hold down, okay? Yeah. But with a round chisel, it doesn't split it. That's it. Okay, I think we're done. So and this was do a test an extremely easy repair but and it could really easily be cool. done in yeah, the I'm desert yeah and you know why we can't do it in the desert because we don't have a desert anywhere yes, close by it's a stupid question <laughs> yeah and we're finished and do you know the truck um one twenty thirty five one thirty five i think so yes so and this gets rope we are nuts yes Oh, 140, you're right. I know. But we're gonna have to set it down to the ground first. My job is to take some thingies out. Yes. What do you call that? goes back in. Third one from the bottom up. Uh, we want to do a quick road test. Shit, and if it, the noise is still there. It's gonna be gone. Okay, so I think it's a big difference. This whining noise is gone. Great, I think we got it done. Really easy job, really cheap. I think I paid 54 euros for the bearing instead of 125 for the SKF. So if you like this video, and I say this now though, for the first time in one of my videos, why don't you hit that subscribe button and follow our channel? We would really appreciate that. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Take care. Yeah, now next week, oh, no. if the weather permits, we're gonna start working on the brake lines. I watched some YouTube videos um, out of the US, how they put in some copper repair lines, and they just put them on top of the old ones. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> just wrap them around with a bunch of tie wraps. You can't do that over here, because in Germany, uh -huh, and we got a TÜV inspector looking at it. We're gonna have to do it the proper way. It's gonna have to look like professional and we can't just tie wrap the new lines to the old lines <laughs> so maybe that's coming up next week um, watch out for that video um, I'm pretty sure that will be funny if we don't get that done we're gonna have to think of some other content for next week now in the middle of winter uh, maybe we go to a castle we can walk up to a castle and yeah. show you guys a castle we can that's I mean you know, in the UK they got enough castles, so they're gonna unsubscribe. But, yeah, but maybe if for you guys in the US or in Australia, visiting a castle might be a good idea. Yes. You know, yes. we were thinking about visiting a few a day. Yes. <laughs> Who can do that? Usually we would go to Christmas markets, but they are all cancelled. Yeah, well, we don't want to lose any subscribers. <laughs> Actually, there's what you know. Corona does have a couple of advantages. I gotta Kristen say, Kristen doesn't like to go anywhere. Recently. I don't need to go to any Christmas markets. The gas is cheaper. It's sure nice to have cheap gas and not being able to drive the Challenger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. How stupid was that? Licensing that thing only in the summertime. I'm gonna get it to 100 now. No. Listen, what? listen how quiet this is. It's not 100, you're well, at 90. Well, now you don't wanna, it's 95. Guys, I tell you, this car is easy to fix if you just have your act together. And you have your mind. And it's your. Really, <laughs> yes. You can't do it alone, I can tell yes. you that. But don't buy it if you don't want to work on it yourself. If you have, if you depend on a dealer or if you depend on a Land Rover workshop, this car is going to bankrupt you. Yeah. And the positive side is that's why it's so cheap. We can go and do stuff and not fix the car again. 
yeah, plus if we don't drive the car, it's not gonna break. And then we don't have anything to fix and our YouTube channel is gonna run out of viewers. So, but we got one big project still in this winter and that's taking the transmission out of the Challenger. Yes, it's but a TR6060 and we are gonna have to fix in that transmission the um, whatchamacallit um, synchronizer rings and probably a new clutch. I'm not gonna do a new clutch. No, we're gonna have because to fix we're gonna that sell transmission. Him next that year doesn't matter, we can't sell it in this condition, we're gonna have to fix that transmission. So you're gonna see us taking that out of a challenger. No, we're not gonna make a video because nobody watches it. We're it's gonna make a video taking a we're gonna call it German dude taking TR6060 out of Challenger and cursing. So somebody who's Googling TR6060 is gonna find well, that video. Uh, it's gonna be a good video and we have to do that. So we're done, we gotta clean up our mess here. No, oh, you will do that. 